welcome back to another videos and today i'm going to be showing you guys how to do the puppy quest so this has been really requested because yes it is a little bit of a hard quest especially the portion where you have to go down in the sewers i can definitely see why it may be a little bit hard thankfully um my friends helped me out and they gave me tips along the way which um will be in the video so make sure to watch almost all the way through and just follow along i tried to make it as clean cut as it could be i also did record this twice so i did this once with my friends and they showed me how to do it and then i re-recorded it with my sister everest go check her channel out by the way the link to that is always in my description down below and i redid that on zoe's account so i have two different versions and if if you guys want or prefer one make sure to check my description down below for timestamps and anyways make sure to hit that like button that subscribe button and that notification bell and let's get on to the video so we're gonna click on them for the dialogue and lancelot says puppies please we have been looking for you all night we just want to cuddle and barbie says please 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 riddles too hard knees weak arms heavy and mom's spaghetti <laughs> that's cute and then if we click on one of the options she says yes please zed left us this note it looks like a riddle. Maybe he wants to test our intelligence. Like how we hit a tree under a blanket. I think he's getting payback. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> the tree vanishes from existence when it's out of view. Everyone knows that. Want to take a look at the riddle he left? If you can solve it, then... Please bring our puppies back to us. There's four of them. You can even keep the tree. Ooh, okay. So this is our first clue. And basically where you can find the first puppy is if you go all the way up to the moon. So if you guys don't know where the moon is or you can't see it, it's basically above where the ball drop is. And right up here you can see, oh my god, look at the little puppers, it's so cute. Oh, oh, this is another clue. Okay, so I think Nikki and Ami and Nana is going to show me where the other one is. So let's go take a look at where it is. So let's go all the way down here. Okay, oh, oh, where'd they go? Oh my god, I lost them. <laughs> oh god. Um, oh, okay, so we're going all the way over across. So basically, it seems like we just flew down from the moon and we went straight ahead, just across the park and straight ahead. Ooh. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but on the second display um, kind of window, which is on the left of the shop, you can see a little puppers behind it. And I think we oh okay we have to go across this little bar area so let's do that basically in order to do that you have to fly all the way up the building because there's an invisible barrier right here if you guys um happen to notice and just fly all the way up it doesn't matter if you have the flight speed pass or not and then just land right in the crevice right here uh-huh now basically once you've landed you can turn into a mouse or a rat you don't have to though and you have to fly into this hole and once you have made it in, you can see the little dog right here and you just have to click on it. And there you go, we have the next clue. So this is the part that I feel like a lot of people have trouble on. We had a little bit of trouble and it's not too hard. You just have to find the code. So let's go to the series and try finding those codes. Now we're in the sewers and you can see that there's a little code right on the wall and um, Ami's going to explain something to us. So basically, uh, I will explain you something. As you can see, it has a number and a letter. The letter is the digit and the number is the order. We need to find four of them. So basically, if this doesn't make any sense, which I really appreciate the explanation because I was confused at the time as well. And you can see that there's a 2K on the wall. Everybody's code is different. Please keep that in mind. So there's the two and the K. So the number is the order. There goes one, two, three, and four. And then there will be a letter for each. So whatever letter you find next to the number, that is the order. So for 2K, it will be blank, K, blank, blank. And then I have to find the other three. So that's basically what we're going to be looking for. Um, and we're just going to try to find them all over the place. And then I will show you guys me putting in the code and where to get that. As you guys can see here, this is me finding the rest of the codes and I'm just typing it in chat or you can write it down on a little piece of paper. Oh, English. And now we're going to be looking for the little layer where we will punch in this code and I'll show you how I do it so that you can kind of 
get the gesture of the order also if you guys don't know where to find the layer i will show that make sure to check my description down below for the timestamp because i will distinctly show you how to find this area right here it's really not that hard now as you can see i am punching in my cone which was sklf and you can see that this cute adorable little area is where the third puppy will be found yet again if you guys don't know how to get to this layer well then um i will be showing that so make sure to check my description down below for the timestamp now this is the last clue to find the last puppy and actually finding last puppy is really really easy so we're just gonna reset so that we can get there faster now once you have spawned all you have to do is go behind Lancelot and Barbie, and there you go. There is the fourth little puppy. So once you click on it, that is all you have to do. And if any of this was confusing, check my description down below for the portion of where I redo this quest and showcase it in a more neater version since I know how what to do now. So I did that on another account with my sister, and I feel like that version might be a little bit cleaner. However, this version did have tips because Ami and Nikki and Nana nicely did, gave me that so once you got the four puppies make sure to click them to claim your prize and let's check out what the accessory is going to be oh my god yes happy new year's okay oh we got the corset we got the um the midnight strike pop star constellation top okay this looks honestly stunning we need to put this on oh my god so as you guys can see, this is how the top looks like. It's stunning. It's gorgeous. Anyways, let's get on to me redoing the quest. So here we are with my little sister Everest. So make sure to go check out her channel. The link to her channel is always in my description down below. And basically she has not done this quest yet. So I'm going to be walking her through it as well as showing you guys in a more cleaner version since I now know what to do and how to find all of the puppies. So yet again, we're going to just fly from here from Lancelot and Barbie where we are right now and we're gonna go straight into the sky all the way up here and we're gonna be passing the ball drop and just go straight towards the moon I think you might need to turn your graphics up in order to see the moon I am not too sure because I think some people like couldn't see it for some weird reason um I don't know why but um it is definitely there so make sure to just fly up there and hopefully it will just load in and then once you get to the moon just land on it and you can get the small little puppers so oh look it's it's so cute oh my god it's so cute it's so cute it's like so adorable okay so make sure to get that and then I'll show you guys where the next little puppy is now we're gonna find the second little doggy so basically just fly off the moon and um i don't have uh, the flying game pass on this account so it might be a little bit slower but just fly straight off the moon and you have to pass the park and if you see the first building up ahead that is basically where the next dog is so like i said past this little beautiful park area and then we're going to go to the shopping area where jam jam and vianchi is and then if you see on the second display to your left there we can find the next little dog see like oh, look at the cute it is so we're gonna get behind there and i'll show you how to do that right now so we turn into little rats just because we felt like it and all oh, like uh, like we did before we're just gonna fly up between these buildings just keep flying up because there's an invisible barrier just fly all the way up and then you're gonna have to land right here so just fall down mm -hmm. and there we go oh whoa i landed on the wall and then if you guys happen to see this small little hole where there's little doggo treats that is where we're going in so what you have to do is you have to fly into the hole it's really easy you don't have to change into a rat i just felt like doing it with my sister and the little doggy will be right here now, once you've gotten it, we're going to fly back out and go to the sewer. So this is the part that, you know, people tend to struggle on, which I completely get. We're going to have to fly between these two buildings, though. And we're just going to go down to the sewers, try to get all of the codes. Make sure to write them down or just type them in the chat as a mental note. But um, if you were in a public server, I recommend just writing it down because it might get a little bit confusing, especially if it's a public chat. So, yeah. So these are the small little clips of us finding our codes. It is in the exact same area. However, our codes are different. And I didn't record this because I wasn't too sure whether the codes like moved areas in the sewers. If it doesn't move, please let me know. And I can try to do a little tutorial of where the sections were. I, I think they moved because when I did this with Nikki, the codes were not in the same area as when I did it with my sister. So that's why I didn't record that.
So next, this is the portion of what you might be looking for. Where do I find the puppy layer after I've gotten my coat? Basically, after respawning, make sure to go to this series where there are little puppy paw prints, as you can see, and just jump straight down. Now, it's really easy. You just go straight down the first hallway and past the two sub hallways on your right. But we're gonna go down this hallway on our left. So um, once we go here, we're gonna make a little turn right here and continue going continue going that's a dead end so we're gonna make a right turn and right here if you guys notice there are little paw prints on the side so that's how you know that it is right and you can just go straight down it and ta-da and then you gotta punch in your code which you should have by at this point make sure you type it in all caps if you don't type it in all caps then it will not work now, once you have entered it, look at how adorable it is. You can see the small little puppers right here. And this is the third one. Now, finding the fourth one is honestly so easy. So let's go um, do that. Now, once we're spawning yet again, all you have to do is go to Lancelot and Barbie. And right behind them, you can find the fourth little puppy. Once finding all four, which isn't too hard besides maybe the sewer is a little bit hard, but it's not too hard once you've gotten the code, then you can get your gorgeous little top or corset, whatever you would like to call it. Anyways, guys, that is it for today's video. I really, really hope this helped you guys because I feel like this quest can be a little bit confusing, but it's not too hard once you have gotten the grasp of it. And if any of this was confusing, please make sure to check my description down below for the timestamps. Rewatch anything in case you feel like you missed something. And if you have any questions, comment down below and I'll try to answer them because, you know, I've done this quest about like five times at this point <laughs> anyways thank you guys so much for watching make sure to hit the like button the subscribe button and that notification bell if you have not done this already and i'll see you guys next time bye, bye.